Colorado Innovates, we've been profiling Colorado businesses at the forefront of their fields. And tonight, Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen takes us to the future, a loving company, sharing all its secrets to make stuff like this. Pretty Check it cool. out. Most popular 3D printers in the world. In this nondescript building overlooking the mountains, a Loveland company is sharing all its secrets. We see ourselves as like a Wikipedia of hardware. The hardware being created here at Aleph Objects is the world's highest ranked desktop 3D printers. A 3D printer is basically a robot that you can use to make things. Marketing Vice President Harris Kinney explains. These printers work by melting different materials, plastic, wood, bronze, gradually building one layer on top of another to form whatever you can imagine. What material is this? It's really bendy. So you're holding NinjaFlex right now, which is a flexible thermoplastic urethane. And they put their money where their mouth is, using their own 3D printers to make parts for their 3D printers. They run five days a week. 24 hours a day, printing parts for more printers. So this started with you working in your basement? Correct. And it's now 100 employees? Yes. Wow. What makes this company innovative, though, is not just these machines. It's that everything you need to know to make these machines is available online for free. Do you lose money by doing it this way? No, we think that we are able to develop our product much more quickly than companies that are encumbered by the patent system. As proof, this open source company tripled sales last year, just expanded to Australia, and is developing the next generation of 3D printer. So this is printing two different materials. From creating prosthetic limbs to NASA's experiments with pizza sauce, the 3D printing possibilities are endless, and Colorado innovators are leading the way. As more and more people learn about 3D printing, and they want to get the best 3D printer, they find out about us, and it keeps growing our company. In Loveland, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. How cool is that? we got to show you this stuff again. Yeah, Pretty awesome. awesome. You can find some of these printers at the Loveland Public Library. They're also available online, but if you want to buy one, it'll cost you $1,250 bucks for one unit. And check out this. It's so detailed. I get one of like these. Like it? Very good octopus, but we need to start getting the change out from under our sofa and everything because if you want the industrial size, it'll cost you $2,200. A little pricey. A little pricey. I'll go to the library and use it. Right? <laughs> Very good.